A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome back to Darkness Falls mod. So I want to go do that tier 2 quest over there. At the end of last episode, I actually wanted to leave off over there and then begin this one there. But then we had a Wandering Horde spawn right at the end. They spawned at 4, so I need to go back and see if they've despawned yet or not. If not, I want to take them out and I just want to quickly try that POI. And yeah, we actually got really lucky when it comes to like mods and stuff. Now we have this, we have another silencer. So if we have to, oh, if we were to die, not have to die, if we were to die, it wouldn't be too bad. I also want to make sure that we do this farm as soon as possible. I'm going to take even this stuff out. Um, I wonder if I shouldn't put like windows on the sides, bad for a little, just a little bit more light. But basically, yeah, I want to also put lights in the corners pointing in all four directions. So when it's nighttime and a wandering horde spawns in, it actually lights them up. It sucks that sometimes I have to shoot a zombie over there, but it's so dark you guys can't see. Even if I do that jump cut thing for the death kills, um, yeah, if you can't even see the deaths, then what's the point of the montage? So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna go turn left, and let's try, see if we can't do that quest quickly. And hopefully we don't die. I saw a ton of demons spawn in, and even a few behemoths. No, titans, uh, not behemoths. So I kinda wanna see if they are still there or not. If they are, we might be able to sneak them, uh, from a distance. Only problem is, obviously, we have to crouch and shoot. And we need to also take an account of our surroundings. We don't want to start shooting and all of a sudden get vomited at from the side. Since it's still lagging over here, I'm guessing the Wandering Horde's still here. I have no idea how far they actually chased me. They chased me towards this direction just now as well. I Basically, they went in this direction I'm going now. But when I drove past them, they started coming after me. There's still a few there. See, I want to stand over here, where it's hopefully safe, and just pick them off. I think that was an empowered one just now, Marlene. There's definitely a zombie over here somewhere. What if I shouldn't just do this, just in case? Oh, I was about to say, it sounds like metal, so it must be next to me over here. Okay, so now, okay. Zoom in. Okay, it looks like we've got most of them. As we get closer over there, we just have to jump off the bike one or two more times to make sure. Like I said, there were Titans spawning in as well. I've managed to snipe most of them just now. Even at a misclick or two. Hello. Master, we are not alone. Fast is, he was probably also part of the horde. This must have been from where they basically spawned in. Demon. I need to loot these demon bags, but they're all over the place right now. There's a spider over here somewhere as well. Hello. I say as it sees me. I'm going to jump on this wall and see if there's anything on the other side. We do have to be careful though. Titans are really, really fast for their size. Like, they run at nightmare speed, so if we're not paying attention, they can easily get us from the side or just because we think we're done over here. What's smacking where? You can hear that as well. I want to make sure where that smacking sound is coming from. It's mo mostly on this side of here. Just got another compound by it. Awesome. See, so much of the Wandering Horde is still here, which makes me think the uh, Titans might also be here as well. And they're the hardest ones to deal with. Sometimes they're like screamers. When there's a screamer horde and you drive away, the screamer um, stays, but the Wandering Horde or the screamer horde disappears. And I think the Titans actually do the same sometimes. You think you're safe and all of a sudden they're still there. That's part of this POI. This is going to be just a clear quest. Demon. Incoming enemies. Prepare for conflict. got this place of man out of wood now. 
Crouch jump. I have to be careful because this is all wood above us. This is insane difficulty, so anything but headshots does very little damage. There you go. I need to fix this mouse of mine. I think the button's broken. your legs i can get your head this place i haven't seen in a while although this used to be all cobble this used to be one of my favorite buildings to take over early game because it was all cobble so you, you were kind of safe now yeah it's not very strong take your leg come on i should be careful just in case he breaks the block above me shows another dot over here like something's down here with us but i think that's upstairs oh no that's outside next to the building demonic thug make sure there's nothing on the other side as well and i hopefully i don't turn the corner and all of a sudden there's a, a behemoth or a titan or something I have to say, even on insane difficulty, it's actually nice being able to just get out and to get some quests done. Hiding all day is just no fun. I mean, it's the smart thing to do, it's the safe thing to do, but it's not fun. There's a red dot jumping on the map, I wonder what that's all about. Look what's that. And now hopefully when I shoot her, the rest don't wake up on the roof. Because the, uh, her, I have to shoot with us. Even with a silencer, I've got a bad feeling it makes about noise, this. as you can see. Even the crossbow doesn't make as much noise. Man, I love this bow. It's just a shame you can't get your ammo back uh, once you shoot. It would be cool if you can actually loot your arrows back. Okay, this safe is locked. We'll get it on the way out because we need to do a power attack on that thing. Is there anything else over here that leads to danger? No, all the zombies up top. Nice. I wonder if you can also skin them with the uh, multi-tool. I need to see where I can find a place that I can actually get a ton of steel arrows from. At the moment, we need so many scrap polymers just to make steel bolts. But these steel bolts are definitely worth it because damn, they do damage. Okay, I'm going to test this. So if I do this, that takes too long. If it was more or less the same speed, I wanted to see which one gives us more. And then... Electrical. At least we have this wrench. If we didn't have this, it would take so much longer. Now the danger spot. Oh, look at all those vultures. That's a demon. That's a demon. Okay. The one in the middle is also one of them. can't seem to get full sneak on them, which goes to show how powerful they are. But there's three dots over there. I need to shoot her from as far as possible so that hopefully he doesn't wake up. Nice. 
Unfortunately, it seems there's no final stash in this place because it's too small. But, I mean, that safe downstairs alone is actually really worth it. I just need to put some more... Oh, okay, yeah, that's not going to work. I need to put some more mods on my... Um, bow, on my crossbow. So at the moment, it's doing way too little damage to these vultures. I mean, they are radiated, but at the same time, I'm using a steel crossbow. It can take down tough zombies and radiated dogs and dire wolves and stuff one shot, but I can't take down a measly vulture. We have to make sure we loot everything on the way out as well. Da, 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 da. Okay, I'm also Archie we're using right now. Anything we don't really need, even if we can still read it, I'm actually considering just going and scrapping. Because the notes, we need more than the actual skills. The skills themselves, you can get by leveling up. Heck, even the ones that I can do on my own, like the archery, since I'm doing it on my own, I don't need to read it. But the more you have in that skill, the more powerful you are. So I'll just read it just in case it actually helps me a little bit. Okay, where's the other vulture? Doesn't seem to be down here. Okay, so we're gonna go to the trader, just hand this in. The trader is that way. No, is it? Yeah. I just really want to hand this in, get another quest. If we can do it at night, we will. But I think instead, what I should do is go back to the base and finish my home base. Because the sooner we have that home base done, the sooner we can make ourselves a farm. Some okay, Trader Joel, friend. let's see. Mixed you, tactical assault, yes. water. Nope, not inventory, Thanks, jobs. Not There's inventory, a little bit lower, jobs. You can try um... Any more pop and pulls. Okay, also, for resources, I want to see if you actually sell some electrical and steel and stuff. Especially the electrical and forge and stuff. Oh, yeah, these ones, you can only buy, it seems. You can't make them. I tried. It's 9,000. We might have enough on our vehicle. Increase the speed by 20%, but we do have the large barrel, so now each dew collector holds 9. If I do this, one of the dew collectors is actually going to give me just min a mineral water, purified mineral. But that's 47,000. That's way too expensive. At least for now. For the current me, it's way too expensive. Uh, Safe travels. It is a pleasure to serve. I don't have the cash anyways to do it if I wanted to. Let's see, sell that one. Do, 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 do. Where did all the cash go just now? This? Oh, there. Yeah, even if I wanted to get the dew collector thingy now, the advanced filter, we don't have enough cash. We could perhaps sell a gun or two, but look how little they sell for. I think you'll have to go and repair them all the way just to be able to get some something good from them. But just make sure that we are not encumbered. It's a shame you can't lock your slots in the drone. That'd be awesome. Okay, so we're just going to go back to the base then. Oh, on the way there is a clear. Now we'll do it in the morning. I have to make sure we can actually get to a safe spot right now. So we're going to go over here. We can go to the main road and then go up, or we can go over here. That should be fine as well. Let's go before another wandering horde shows up. Okay, all of these are grown, but before I harvest them, I just want to get the roof up and running. Also, I should probably see... See, these farm plots look different from the ones down below. I'm so curious to see whether I can actually pick them up. Oh, not down below. These ones are compared to the other ones by the trader. Let me see. Do we have any farm plots over here? Yeah. I think these farm plots I got from picking these up. Let me just test my theory. If I do this, pick up the seed, and break it. Yeah, that's an actual farm plot. So the others weren't actual farm plots. That's why you weren't able to pick them up. And then these have fully grown, so I can make more seeds. Or more of them. I think you can actually use the hoe. If you use the iron hoe to harvest them, especially with my living off the land as high as it is, you can actually get way more apples from that as well. It works with uh, the iron hoe as well, which is really weird. Smacking a, a apple tree with a hoe. But anyways, for the 14 apples, we can actually go make way more seeds. Or Yeah, I'm going to just make seeds. Apple seeds, 12 more. And then everything else I just quickly need to put away, and I'm going to start putting up this roof over here. I need to keep reminding myself as well that we have to go and put the, like the triple storage pocket mods and stuff on. In Darkness Falls, the, it's not called a triple storage uh, armor mod, it's just a pocket mod. So how you usually put your pocket mods in vanilla and all that stuff, that's where you put them here. What I mean by that is if you go look at the clothing, 
triple storage pocket mod is there. It's usually an armor pocket mod or armor triple mod or whatever it's called. So usually they're going armor pieces and you can put 10 of them. But yeah, we have we unlock it with pack meal. So you go and put the triple storage pocket mods on clothing pieces. So if I have another one, for example, uh, all mods, we have a We have a single. I could have sworn we had another triple. Okay, but yeah, you can go and put the single on here. Or if you can, uh, if you can, you can make the double pocket mods. Boom. So it goes on these. I need to have a jacket as well. Let me just see if I have any light armor. See, when I die, I usually don't put stuff back on. Uh, this is going to help with what? Cold resist, but not heat. So if I wear this in any place that, that it's hot already, I'm going to overheat. It needs to be something that helps with cold and heat. We'll put this one on. Boom. Okay. A little bit of a weird look, but it works. Put that there. And then building supplies. I just quickly want to grab these out. Now, I'm actually constantly running with this on me now. Do we have more coil? Let's just see over here. We have this one. I should probably be running around with this one instead of this one. Although this one seems to be doing a little bit more damage than this one. But this one is legendary as well. So I can even take on Empower Demons. Uh, so far, we've been lucky. We've been able to one-shot Empower Demons. But if in a POI, like a clear or something, we encounter them, I'll have to hit them with the laser multi-tool. So super close range. But with this shotgun, it actually works way better. Um, yeah, the coil rounds are just way more powerful. Target armor plus 20%. So it takes away from the armor, if I'm not mistaken. Target armor minus. No, it's actually bad against armor. Target armor plus 20%. This is target armor minus 25. This is why this is so good against soldiers. So the coil is actually a no-no for now. I'll just do this. The nice thing about this one over here, it's level 51. But it holds eight mods. So if I can put a lot of mods over here and just make sure that my clothing... I need to make sure all my armor pieces have like uh, banded armor mods and stuff on as well. Because the more of these are on all of them and the more of these are on all of them, we'll be able to sneak better. And even if something really powerful hits us, we won't die instantly. I need to make sure because at the moment, the smallest tickle of a zombie can kill us. So I need to be able to take a hit without having to worry too much. We'll use this one again if we die and we lose this one. It's a shame we've only found one laser multi-tool though. The sniper rifle is a really good level as well. Which one's better? Yeah, the sniper's better. Okay, but yeah, that one compared to this one. No, this one compared to this one. Oh, wow. 71, 81. Six shots, 10 shots. That's what makes the sniper rifle so much better. You can keep shooting, 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 shooting. At least we have this quail sniper over here, but I need more quail. It's a shame I can't take these apart and just use their parts for the sniper, but I think they use way different parts as well. Okay, ammo, we'll just do that. I should probably keep two stacks on me now because the other one was able to hold 100. Also, don't know why I'm holding the... Technically, I can take the sniper rifle off. Since we're using the quail now, it doesn't make sense carrying two around. To save on quail ammo, sure. But if I were to die with this coil and I lose this one as well with all these awesome mods on, I'll be so mad at myself. So for now, just to make sure that we have backups, like really good backups, we'll just do this. Boom. Okay, and then also I need to stop doing this. If I lose these, I'm going to be so mad at myself. Because this can, this can scan the ground. It's cheap enough to make, but it's still a, a chore to make as well. Okay, I think I'm not going to have any lights on the inside. We can just use like torches or survival torches. I think survival torches, though, is under mastery. Survival torch, yeah, so I have to master this one. But then we'll be able to make a survival torch, which basically, just like these over here, doesn't pull in any screamers. Boom, 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 boom. We have a ton of stone. We have a ton of sand. We just needed this so we can make way more concrete. This whole place is going to be concrete. Uh, It can go to stacks of that much, so we'll put 6,000. And 6,000. Boom. Probably keep this on me. I wonder if the craft room container also works with upgrades in this one. I know sometimes depending on uh, the mod, or depending if you're using the modlet, you can craft from container and upgrade from container. So if I were to go and do this. No, you have to have it on you. Although this isn't... Yeah, it is sharing. I was about to say it's not sharing, but it is definitely sharing. Okay, so the pillars downstairs should probably be concrete first. 
Let's quickly grab that. No, I'll place the blocks first. I have a thousand something on me. Can't afford to die with this. That block is still bugged. No, it's not. Cool. It seems it just needed a refresh. Nice. I didn't even think about that. I thought that was still bugged. That means we should be able to move those two signs into the correct spaces as well. And then this drone, I want to tell it to stay over here just in case something attacks us. Where's that zombie? Hello? I don't know if it's downstairs or if it's climbing. Okay, I want to have the drone on this side over here. Hello, hello, hello. See, a normal zombie like this, we should be able to just use a normal sniper for. Although, I do have this. Should probably see if I have a times two scope or something, because times four I think is going to be too much. Tell you to stay right yes, there. Of course. I have to put a door over there just like the other side. And then we can keep placing. Now I don't have to worry about the drone getting in my way like 24-7. One, two, three, four... Okay, over here, I want these to despawn, but they just keep... If I kill them, look at this. Now he's dead. Now he's a shape. And he spawns back in because he's a traitor. But what what would happen if I take his flooring away? Come on. That broke right now, right? Yeah. So now if I put a block back, he shouldn't spawn back in. I want to put them on the corners, but it seems as soon as you place them, you have to be very, very sure when you place them. Basically, for those of you that don't know, they keep the chunk alive. It's like you being in the area and then having your farm and forge and stuff still going. Because usually if you travel super far away, your forges, your plants, everything just stands still. Okay, now I'm hoping this is enough space above the chicken coops. I just realized I want to be making a farm over here. Although I could make the farm straight like this. That should also work. Uh, let me just quickly really take you out as well. Okay, does that still work? Nope, does not. I wonder if I were to make a light on the side, like a, a window over here, whether that will also work or not. But I think it has to be above them. So instead of making this full block, let's do this. I'll, I think I'll let the farm run over here. To give a little bit more space. Uh, or over here. Where, the, where, where this was over here. The, this could be this. Because I want to make sure that this isn't being covered. And then I want to use bars. I think bars might actually be a, a solution. But now though, we'll first have to grab this. I'm way too lazy to take that much time to just go and smack every single block. Did I have a ladder up? Nope. I should probably make a ladder to the roof as well, so I don't have to worry about that later. So we're just going to replace these then with some bars and see how that works. Okay, let's test scaffolding ladders. Technically, since you can reach through them, they should not act as a... Uh, still not working, damn it. I thought I was being clever just now. Um, am I going to have to put these on the roof? I really wanted to, I wanted to keep them downstairs like that, but I can't leave this unprotected. What would happen if I were to make a hole on the side of here? Does it count as light coming through? Although, uh, if I put some windows over here, it's still going to block it all. Nope. Okay, that's not going to work. So there can't be anything above these, which means I'll have to put these on the roof. It's the only way we're going to be able to do this right now and so, uh, solve it in time. So I'll take this out, just make it a solid block. Even the, the two collectors, I'll move that upstairs. And then downstairs, I don't know what I'm going to use that for then. At the moment, we have our water source over here. Hello, soldier. Where did you come from? So lonely. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, just a random soldier. I thought there might be like a wandering water at the back of here. Um, We're going to take this dude out as well. Oh, wow, he's in a concrete block. Lucky you. Okay, so we take him out. We'll take this one out. And then I want to take this middle section over here out as well. Because these lights... Because the farm is going to be up here. There's no point in having that light source there. Because it's just going to block it anyways. Man, that's going to be a lot of noise. I'm just hoping a streamer doesn't show up right now. Although even... If you, I actually want to test this place against the streamer. We've only had wandering hordes over here. 
Okay, so the only thing that's holding up the top part right now is this over here. So as soon as we take these a uh, little bit of uh, these few blocks out, that should be fine. And then I still have to decide where I want to put the ladder. I think since we're not using this back spot over here, let's put the, the ladder over here. It makes sense, right? It's not taking up any unnecessary space. There's just one spot where you can get to the roof, not multiple. And boom, you're out. I should probably see how many uh, farm plots and stuff I can make. But now we will just have to use dirt. At least we do have quite a bit of clay. I still have to make a ton of wood and just go fill that up even further. So far, it looks to have been working really nicely. I need to take the, that little bit of clay over there and just fill the whole hole. The whole, whole, hole. <laughs> okay, uh, let me just click over here. Should be... Yeah, that was done. And then just really want to take these out on this side. So once again, do that, do this. And boom. Okay, all of that caves in and done. Now I could use the auger back and just roll one shot at this one. Obviously, the auger is going to be way, way, way faster. I think before I, pl I place any like irrigation or anything on the roof, I should probably make sure that the roof is concrete. The pillars down below and the roof upstairs. Because as long as the corners all around this place is concrete, and then that block right there that the pillar is holding up. As long as those blocks are concrete... Whoa, why did I do that? Um, yeah, you don't have to worry about the structural integrity at all. I also quickly want to move all of these upstairs, the uh, duplexes and stuff. And as you can see, since we have a large barrel in here, we can actually get quite a bit of water out of this. Must empty workstation be Oh yeah, before picking it up. The tools count as emptying as well. Oh, hello. Yeah, I should probably first take the water before I take out the one that can hold all the water. Okay, so we're just going to grab some more concrete mix over here. My frame is back. I actually opened up this hole over here just to make sure that we, when we build that defense on this side as well, we'll be able to just be out of here as well. I basically want to, after we have all the blocks placed over here, like the whole base is done, we can put the farm and everything, I want to see if we can't fill up the wall as well. Make it a little bit higher or something, just to, I don't know, just to deal with the zombies a little bit better. Either make it super thick and tall, or just leave it as is and every now and then fill the titanium in. They should, as long as I have this defense on that side as well, and perhaps even on this side at the back. They should not go for the uh, walls anymore. So I need to copy this exact defense that we have over here to that side. And then this whole defense, I need to copy on that side at the back over there as well. Because this base is big enough that if they're at the back, they might not pass over here. So far, all of the Wandering Hordes have passed brilliantly. Are you kidding me right now? He survived. So basically, if I take him out right now, it's not going to matter much. And there's a pillar underneath, so I don't think I'll be able to completely take him out at all. Is he going to respawn? We'll see. Oh, the beehives as well. I need to move the beehives. At least the beehives take like two seconds to pick up. I love it when... Uh, there should be a skill that allows you to pick stuff up. Like a, a mechanic skill or something. Or a, a construction worker skill. That when you have it maxed out, you're able to pick up workstations way more easily as well. It just makes sense to me. Okay, so I need to be careful. I'm going to put up a wall over here. At least the uh, water collectors and stuff can still work with a wall. I'm actually thinking of expanding this over here. Making a whole wall full of, the, uh, of these collectors. Because at the same time, remember, even though this thing can hold nine. Let's put it right there. Even though that can hold nine. Uh, if I do this. I still need the other stuff as well. So this is large water catcher. Uh, I think that we can actually make that. Uh, sure. What does this do? Causes block to produce two waters at a time. So instead of one water, one water, one water, one water for nine, we can get 18 waters for two, 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 two. These ones over here, however, you have to go and buy. This one makes it faster. And this one over here infuses and make, makes everything mineral water. But I'll rather go for clean water like this that it gives you. Because you need clean water and bones to be able to make glue. And right now, glue is going to be the most important thing. I'm thinking of doing this and then putting these in the middle over here. We have four of them. Yeah, I want to make it a little bit symmetrical. So on that side as well, we'll do the same. It has a wall and then this. Oh, this chicken coop's actually the wrong way around. That's going to bother me, so I'll have to pick this up. Yeah, basically what I'm going to do is I think I should probably put like a little bit of a walkway in between over here. Like so. 
It's going to be a little bit of a roof or uh, uh, protection from the elements downstairs when you're going inside. But over here, it's just going to allow us to be able to put more stuff on the roof. As long as the whole roof is concrete, like I mentioned, we shouldn't have a problem. Although I should probably have made this concrete before I put the, any of the shapes down over here. Because now I'll have to do others from the bottom. Okay, yeah. Uh, so let's quickly do the roof as well. I need to do this. I need to put another wall. I also have to make more dew collectors, which shouldn't be too difficult. Are you kidding me right now? He wasn't here earlier, was he? And look how long it takes to take them down. I don't know if this counts as like something you have to use your auger on or something, but these guys just don't want to give up. Okay, we actually have quite a few dew collector uh, parts. So dew collector. What do we need? Water filters. That is not sharing at the moment, but we do have them. Man, the sooner we actually get more of the... Um, those broadcasting items the better but we need uh, more gold and silver so at the moment what am i short on 340 200 scrap polymers actually make one over here one over here okay the rest of this i'll just put away for now uh, i need to quickly go and upgrade the whole roof as long as the whole roof is concrete like i said then we don't have to worry about the weight of a farm I'm actually considering not taking this multi-tool with me while looting. Look how fast this thing repairs and upgrades and stuff. Obviously when wrenching it is awesome, but at the same time, do you really want to lose this when it comes to upgrading? It's faster than a nail gun at the moment. We have so much concrete, we'll definitely be able to get the whole roof done as well. That's awesome. It's awesome when you just have the right... Oh, come on. I was about to say the right rhythm going. <laughs> I also have some cobble on me just in case, because I know I did some damage with the auger. I hate this sound. So when you get that right rhythm going and you can keep going all the way, even though it might make you a little bit sick looking at it as long as it works. Boom. So much not wanting to level up as well. Upgrades like these actually level you up quite fast. The mining might have been nerfed, but the upgrading to the building, as long as you can actually upgrade all the way from bottom up. So if you have like wood, you start on wood, you'll upgrade all the way to concrete or steel. Ooh. The amount of XP you can get is insane. Oh wow, we have quite a bit of cobble left. I wonder if I shouldn't make a multi-layer farm. But for that, I'm going to have to put more pillars and stuff in as well. And then these can go right there. Boom. Looking good, looking good. We have four pillars on the inside, but I'm just not sure whether that's going to be enough or not. And because it's single pillars and not those multi-pillars that I usually use, they only support one block. Instead of four blocks supporting the roof, there's only one block supporting the roof per pillar. Okay, and then hopefully we have enough concrete to just finish this off. I want to actually also see if we can't do the uh, pillars down below. But at the moment, we're going to have to wait for some concrete to finish because we're just a little bit short. I didn't think we are going to be using up all of the concrete just for this roof over here. That is insane. But it goes to show this base is way bigger than it looks as well. We had two, over 2,000 concrete, which means it's definitely over 200 blocks. It looks small, but if you go like this uh, length uh, by width, like 15 by 15 or something, it's quite a few blocks. At least it seems we'll be able to definitely finish this section of here. I think after this, I'll just check how much forged iron I can make. What is that? Is that my imagination? I thought it was a screamer or something screaming. Oh, not a screamer, a, a spider. But I need to check how much forged iron we have left so we can actually start making the irrigation up for up here. But if you guys like this episode, please like to share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback. Leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Darkness Falls Insanity. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, get access to a private members-only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my 7 I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.